Hi everyone, it's Micah again. Um, so first of all, I want to apologize. I watched my video back from yesterday and I say um a lot. And I apologize, I'm still learning, getting better with this whole talking to you guys by talking to myself thing. And I promise I will try really, really hard not to say um every other word today. How's that? Okay, so today what I want to do is we're gonna start off with showing you kind of my current journaling projects that I have going on. Um, when, so there I go. So the first one that I have, I actually finished this this morning. Um, so, oh, you guys, I'm so sorry. I am a hot mess, so just let me be. Anyways, this is actually for my daughter and I have been promising her for Oh goodness, about a week and a half now that I would get this done. Um, you see about, hold on, I'm going to grab something really fast. Okay, sorry. About two months ago, I made this for myself from one of Gail's videos. And I'm hoping, trying really hard to stay in frame. I know my video yesterday was a little iffy. Sorry, guys. Um, anyway, so I made this ephemera folder, folio from a tutorial from Gail that she had on her channel. And I love this. It has, it is completely unorganized, but it has all of my uh, different pieces of ephemera housed very nicely in these vellum envelopes that I used art glitter glue on. And it's holding up absolutely perfectly. I'm digging around in it all the time, putting stuff in, taking stuff out. Um, let's see, my to-do list, make re, which is my daughter, re, um, an ephemera folio. So here's mine. Canvas on the side. I've got two signatures. And then this is the ribbon that, in theory, I would tie into a bow, but I always just wrap it around because I am digging in this thing constantly when I am working on journals. So I'm going to set that aside for right now. So this is my daughter's. As you can see, it is a little bit different size wise. That is because she and I had been crafting together and she had some scraps of paper from her own personal pads that she has that she left in my in my craft room. So I decided to use those because I know she likes them and I thought that that would make a really cute folio for her. I made the spine the same size as mine. And I don't know, I feel like it's a little big, honestly, but we'll see, this will hold a ton of stuff for her. So um, what I did for the closure this time is I actually punched a hole in the spine in between these two signatures and put in an eyelet and then if you can see here, here's the center where the eyelet is. And I just knotted that ribbon and pulled it through. So it won't go through even if you kind of yank on it. But here's hers again, two signatures. There's, you know, six pages per signature. I slid a couple little things in here for, um, but just, you know, ready for her to fill up with all of her little stuff. Now this one is a little bit different style wise than that one, other than just the height and width. And that's because I screwed up. <laughs> um, I put the cover and the back cover on backwards. So whereas mine, as you can see, opens, well, hopefully you can see. Let me see where we're at. Yeah, we're, we're doing okay. So mine, as you can see, opens this way to show more stuff in here. Hers... <laughs> Because I am who I am. Oh, sorry. See, I'm going to throw stuff all over the place. Opens like this. And so she's got her little pockets right here instead of folding out this way. So that's actually finished. And she's going to get that when she gets home from school today. So there's that one. The next one that I have, I'll show you. This is actually my current work in progress focus. Um, whether it should be or not is probably another question, but um, let's put it this way. I have a little trouble focusing sometimes. So this is the one. This um, is a denim cover. It's about TN size, about um, traveler's notebook size. It's, oh, let me see here. 
it's about nine by four ish when closed. Um, sorry. Uh, so the, the fabric for the cover actually came out of one of my scrap bins from my old sewing business. And it was sewn together with the lighter, darker, and then lighter down here at the bottom, which you can't really see. And I just loved it. And it immediately said journal cover to me. So I stamped on some, just some plain white fabric that I had and stitched it on. And then this is just gingham and uh, rickrack. I'm sorry, I can't remember the word. And then a uh, gingham cover. I'm still going to put probably at least a pocket right here. I still have to cover this. This is Christmas wrapping paper. I discovered I actually don't have a ton of red type stuff in my stash, both paper crafting and fabric wise. So this is going to get some collage work done to kind of make it a little less Christmas reindeer-y. Um, but so it's just, you know, I've done some stamping here, some lace, stenciling, different things like this. Um, this is actually a paper cardboard thing. I think it's a party favor, like for birthday parties or whatever. Um, and I'm working on, I thought I had a tag in here, but I might not have. Um, it might be somewhere else. Um, but I'm going to put a tag in there as well. Um, just a little notepad here, some more journaling space. This is a vintage quilt block um, that I've got in the signature. Then... There's a little layered tag that I did. This is a cute little red journaling card. I got this in a swap from one of my junk journal groups and I thought it just fit in really well right there. So as you can see, there is still quite a bit of work <laughs> to be done in this. But honestly, y'all, I, I feel like I might be going a little overboard with the decorating in here. So, and there's my center with the ribbons. Um, this might come out. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I love it in here. Um, but whoever gets this after me will just have to be as over the top and extra as I am kind of making this to be. But I am having a ball. This, I wanted to show you. I mentioned yesterday that I liked the catalog envelopes in my journals for, using, for pockets. So this is where I've used one that's one of the Manila style. This one I act, this side I have, obviously haven't done anything with yet, but this side I've started decorating. This is some coffee dyed um, paper from an accounting book, strip of denim to go with the cover, some red paper here, and then just um, that's some scrapbook paper. And then I haven't filled this yet, but um, that will have probably just some miscellaneous little goodies in there. So that's why I like to have those in there, you know, keep different ephemera or little secret notes or photos or anything like that in there. So there's that one. And the back cover is just, just plain. So there's that. And then why do I have, oh, I put a, I put a belly band in the back. I forgot about that. Yeah. So that's just ruffled white fabric with some red rickrack. Just uses belly band. So I got to figure out what to put in there. So there's that one. Next up is, okay, I think I talked yesterday a little bit about my rainbow journal. And here's this bad boy. I am totally in love with this. Um, this is the very first thing that I started when I finally got brave enough to start working on junk journals instead of just admiring everybody else's work. Um, I'm, this is kind of a learn as I go book here. As you can see, the, the cover is an old book that I removed the spine from and used just the cover and the back cover for. And what I learned was I probably should have covered that like with maybe muslin or gesso maybe first because you can see the cover design through this fabric, which it's not hugely noticeable, but it bugs me. So lesson learned. Now, as you can see, I did a hidden spine on this, probably pretty ambitious to start with as I kind of made some mistakes, but uh, I tend to be a go big or go home kind of girl. So here we go. When you look at the sides, you can see there are seven signatures 
red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, every color of the rainbow. Um, and then I did fabric tags in each signature with the corresponding color. And I included some lace on the yellow because it's cute. Uh, as you can see, the I don't think I didn't do the spine correctly here. I'm probably going to have to take this out and redo it correctly at some point because it's torn and it just feels really tight like it can't really open quite all the way and stuff so I'm probably gonna have to redo that but for now I'm just kind of letting it be um, it is what it is so each signature starts with this kind of solid color um, scrapbooking paper it's a cardstock out of a out of a book that I got I think at Michael's so um, each one has starts with that Where's my green? There we go. And then blue and purple. And those, I'm just gonna leave those because I think they're gorgeous as they are. Um, this one I might, I don't know. I had an idea rolling around in my head earlier today that I might play with, so we'll see. But each page is edged in the color of the signature. So red, orange, yellow, et cetera, et cetera. And then it has, this is the little piece that I made from the YouTube I saw on two. Oh my goodness, you guys. Words are hard. Um, a tutorial that I saw on YouTube. Um, just with a little decorated index card there. I still have, again, a ton of work to put in here. This, I think, is going to go in here. This is, again, my daughter and I have little crafting days where we just follow YouTube tutorials together and have a blast. So this is one that I saw um, that's just a little notebook. Like it's just got, you know, just a little paper in here. Um, it's just scrapbook paper with some goodies on top, but I'm gonna, I think I'm going to stick that maybe in here. I'm not sure yet. Um, but it's just, you know, a variety of papers. This is a little tuck spot made from an envelope and then it's got a little pocket right here. Dictionary pages, lined pages. Ooh, what's in there? Oh, this is from National Geographic, I believe, and I just love that picture so much, so I had to put it in here. It's a little pocket um, out of some Japanese fabric from my stash that I absolutely adore. It's got cute little deer and bunnies on it with some coffee dyed lace. Uh, I just put some washi tape here. I think I need to glue it because I think it's kind of coming up a little bit, but that's what I do to make those um, other pockets on the non-clasp side of those envelopes. So that's, I mean, that's kind of what's going on there. This is just a flip out with some cute washi. You know, I haven't done, I need to use Mod Podge on that. Like I said, this is just that I'm playing in this journal. This is something that I am just trying out different ideas as I'm learning, putting bits and pieces in. Um, this is just for me. This is not anything going anywhere else. This is, that's a pocket. Um, this is just for me to play with and be creative with because I'm learning and I'm having a great time, y'all. I mean, I really am. Um, but that's what this is for because color makes me happy. I love vintage as well, but I just, I love all things bright, colorful, uh, kawaii, that sort of thing is really just my jam. And even though I'm 40, I'm trying to really just embrace it. That's, you know, just who I am and it is what it is. So this is um, from a piece of junk mail that I got from the American Quilter Society, I believe. Um, but it's, I just made a belly band out of it. I thought it was pretty with all the colors. Uh, this is a post-it note, actually, from a planner company, planner society, maybe? Um, and I just glued it down because I thought it was cute. And then this is a bag from Hobby Lobby that I just folded up and prettied up a little bit and stuck that there. Uh, but yeah, I, like I said, I haven't done a whole lot. This is something that I really, really want to spend more time in and doing and playing with. So you'll see this again. I'll tell you now, you will see this journal again. It will show up, I promise. So there's that. The next one is, let me get my idea list out of the way. I showed you this in my last video. This is that envelope journal. I really super want to do something awesome with this. I had it slid into the back of that rainbow journal originally, 
And that may be where it goes to live. It may become a freestanding. I'm not really sure yet. So again, I went red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and then purple. And then these are little signatures. Listen, I found this paper at a yard sale. I'm not sure if you can see how pretty that is, but it's got little color flex in it and I just love it. And there was only like maybe 10 sheets of this in the pile and I just love it. It adds interest without being too in your face, but it's not super plain either. I love it so much. And it goes well with the scrapbook paper I put on there. So there's that one. And then this one I actually put, this was a play. This was a big play. This is some ribbon. This is um, from a company in Germany, and I have quite a bit of different ribbons from them, and I love them. They are beautiful. But this is from a Manila file folder, and my crafty friend and I made this on one of our craft days that we had, which we need to have again because I miss it. We haven't done it in a couple of months, and it was so fun. Anyways, but we made this out of a file folder following a tutorial that she saw on YouTube. Um, I don't know exactly which tutorial it is, so I can't really help with a link or anything like that. But I can, if anyone's interested, I will ask her and see if she can point me to it. But so I put that, I'm, just, I'm not going to tie it all the way. But so that one goes in there. And then this one, again, just a simple signature here and then in the back cover and the front cover are these and I haven't created anything to go in those yet but again it's one of my current projects um, the next two I know I I have a bunch of stuff going on I I know so first we'll talk about this one first so as I said earlier I turned 40 this year and part of turning 40 for me has included kind of really trying to figure out kind of who I am. My kids are getting older. Um, you know, I went back to school. I got my degree. Um, and now I uh, work from home <laughs> uh, doing, well, not, not a whole lot, I, honestly. I, I have lots of time to craft and clean and, and things like that. And it's wonderful. I take care, you know, it, it really... Makes me happy to be able to take care of my family in the way that I do. Anyways, not my point. My point is that actually what led me into junk journaling was art journaling. I was exposed to it through a bullet journal group, which is the kind of planner I've kept for the last couple of years, um, which also gives me a bit of a creative outlet. And this is the journal that I created to use for art journaling purposes. I, I have OCD. Uh, for me, it does not manifest in the super clean kind of way that it does for some people. For me, it manifests with really rigid thinking, um, black and white, strict lines, everything needs a, you know, needs a label and a place. And as such, I do have a hard time with things like art journaling and junk journaling and getting myself out of the mindset that everything has to be aligned and perfect and symmetrical and things like that. So I started art journaling as a way to try and help me push myself out of my comfort zone uh, to kind of expand my way of thinking a little bit to be a little less rigid. So that's what this is, is this is just a journal that I bought from Walmart, um, just, you know, like a mixed media thing. And I wanted to start using kind of the premise of the Wreck This Journal book series. Uh, I had bought one for my daughter and she had a ball doing it. And I knew that I needed kind of prompts or something to kind of push me. Uh, I have a hard time just kind of being creative, like. I can't really force it. So this is the cover. It's, you know, just, it's gesso and paint and watercolor paper that I splashed around on and, you know, just different things like that. And I actually really love how it turned out. Now, the kicker of that is I only have one 
<laughs> one page completed in this. I really need to spend more time doing this. I Being creative in this particular way really scares me, honestly. So, but this was fill this page with circles. And so we've got some circle balloons and a cat and a flower and some watercolors. And this is fun. So this is something that you may or may not kind of see pop up every now and then. If you're interested in art journaling too and you wouldn't mind seeing those sorts of videos, let me know in the comments because if you don't want to see it, I don't want to show it, right? So there's that. Then last but not least, um, this is kind of my personal um, life journal that's really not entirely about like my family and things like that, but more about me and Again, pushing myself and learning and growing and things like that. So this is um, one of the lay flat journals from Walmart. I want to say they're about maybe $5. And this is my really, truly my first junk journal spread. Um, and this is kind of me in a, in a page. It's, you know, my birthstone is a coffee bean. I drink coffee constantly. Um, I'm sarcastic. I'm a dreamer. Um, I made a list here of just like little things that, or this one is kind of the focus of what this journal is about. And then this is a way for me to remember all the things that I love and being okay with the things that I love and not being ashamed of some of the things that some people would consider kind of juvenile. And it is what it is. So, okay. So that's that one. And then this page um, is where I was torn between working and being at home again. And each page uh, has kind of the things that I love about both places. Um, you know, this one right here is for my work buddy, Dylan. Uh, he's Sully and I'm Mike and that's just how it is. And I simply adore him and I was really torn about um, not seeing him every day because he's literally probably my best friend so and then this is you know it's my kids this is four of my kids so this is my kids you know my husband my cats you know cooking for my family taking care of my home you know that sort of thing so this right here is well these are some things that I have that I have in here that I need to journal and I haven't done yet so this right here is um Kind of where I stopped a little bit. This is kind of my bucket list um, travel page. I love to travel and I haven't gotten to do much of any in my life. I've never been outside the United States with the exception of Mexico and Canada, you know, Niagara Falls. And when I lived in Southern California, we would go to Tijuana sometimes. This was years and years ago. Um, you know, I was very young. <laughs> so now I don't know that I would make that same trip. However, there's some really good memories there, but I would really like to see far more of the world. You know, Australia is probably not my number one. Greece. Um, this right here is a map of Ireland. And then this is where I want to keep a list of places I want to go and, you know, how to get there, like what my goals are you know, set concrete goals to make those dreams actually happen instead of just saying someday because it's always someday, right? So this page, this is just kind of fun. One of the things that I I love food. I love trying new places, trying new things. Um, and again, part of my deal this year is, you know, pushing myself to try new places instead of getting stuck in the same old, same old. So this bag and then this part of the menu is from Portillo's Hot Dogs, which if you are from the Chicago area, you know Portillo's. I live in Southern Indiana and we actually have one of these up towards Indianapolis and in Greenwood. And I took my husband there because he had never had them. And I hadn't had them since, I don't know, it had been a while. So we went there. And so that's what this is from. And then this menu and the sticker are from arguably, at least in my experience, the best Mexican restaurant in Louisville, Kentucky, um, called Bandidos. 
it's amazing. It's kind of a little hole in the wall place, but it's great. If you are in the area, try it for sure. If you like Mexican food, if you don't like Mexican food, you probably won't like it that well, but the super nachos here is my favorite thing. Chicken with queso. I'm just saying. And then this Luca B coffee company is local to me. It is in um, the town where I basically do everything. I shop there and, you know, and called Columbus. It is locally owned by a wonderful little family. Um, I primarily drink Starbucks just because their hours and location is a little hard for me to get to on the regular. Um, I do go there every time I'm close by, which I actually went last night. Um, and because their coffee is phenomenal. Again, if you're in the area, give it a shot. It's so good. And one of my um, surrogate sons uh, it does their food. So it's it's fabulous. So you should try it. And again, these are some things that um, these are business cards. My son and I went to a uh, con last weekend, um, like a comic con type thing down in Louisville. And oh my gosh, it was my first time going and it was so much fun. I told you guys I'm a nerd. So anyways, but these were some cards from, this is from a book and it's like a little mini tarot card. And I thought that was so cute, but just, this is a book I want to read. Um, and this was an artist whose, um, illustrations I really liked. So I want to check him out, um, online and then these things. So this is just some stuff that I need to journal. So again, not a ton of progress yet. You might see it make another appearance. You may, you know, you might not. It really just depends on what you guys want to see. This was a page. Um, I had been watching videos about decoupaging napkins into a journal and my daughter was watching with me and this was actually our first, um, real like crafting session together was doing this because she has her little journal and she brought her journal in and we both, we split a napkin in half and we both did our own thing with it. And this was mine. And then hers obviously isn't here. I'm not going to show her journal um, ever, probably. And, um, but, you know, I haven't done anything with the page yet. And I don't know, maybe I'll just, maybe I'll make this page just journaling about crafting with her because it's been something that my, my daughter is almost 11 and um, you know, she's kind of hit that age where it's, you know, a little difficult sometimes. And that might be a great, that's actually probably what I'll do is I'll probably journal about doing that with her. I think that's great. So those are my kind of current journal in progress things. Um, I have some other like little bits and pieces. I have an entire stash over there <laughs> of tags and sacks and envelopes and packaging and things that I want to make into finished ephemera to use in journals. Um, I have a smaller stash over there of things that are completed um, that you may see show up. And then, oh, I should show you this because this is something I'm working on. Let me make sure, am I still in frame? Oh, kind of. Okay, this is something I'm working on making a tutorial for. Um, I need to finish, it's a trifold, not anything super original, but I'm thinking that it might be a good idea for, um, these are junk envelopes and then leaving them like this. And then I'm going to make little things to go here and then journaling space on the back, which obviously I did not do a fabulous job that will be fixed <laughs> when I do the tutorial. <laughs> so this is just a prototype that I've been playing with and it'll go in my rainbow journal when it's done. But so that tutorial will be coming. I'm hoping maybe sometime next week, probably, before I get that, like, done and ready to go. So, those are my current projects, and those are the things that, those are the journals you'll see me working in for now, and I'm thinking, I'm probably going to kind of start just flipping the camera on when I'm crafting, obviously, uh, I can chat all day long, really. Um, but, you know, while I do things that I think might be of interest to someone, I really like watching um, people, like, decorating pages and things like that. It really gets my juices flowing. 
and it makes me think of things in a you know whole different ways and you know really being inspired by the work of others uh, just to I mean not even to copy what they're doing necessarily or you know or try to but it just really gets my brain working in a creative way so that's what I think I'm gonna do if you all think that that's something you like uh, I don't know if I'll start that yet this week or if I'll wait till next week I'll, I'll, I'll have to wait and see uh, kind of how things go I meant to get this video filmed earlier today and I had an appointment this morning then I went to Goodwill after my appointment and you guys, I walked out of there with nothing. Believe it or not, nothing. I did not spend a dime. I could not find anything. Part of it was that the area where they have um, like the office supplies and things like that was just a mess. It was, and it was crowded in there today. So it was hard to like kind of maneuver around and stuff. And I was just like, hmm. Not really seeing anything catch my eye. I'm going home. So I did. And I couldn't believe that. I think that might be the first time that's ever happened. It was weird. But, uh, yeah. So, anyways, that's where we're at. That's where we're going. I hope you enjoyed getting a peek at some of my current works in progress. And um, we'll see next video. I'll probably work in this because I really kind of want to work on getting this finished um, so that I can move it on. It's to me, it's this journal kind of screams summer. It's winter where I live. If you're overseas, you know, if you're outside the United States, it's probably not um, quite winter where you are. It is where I am. It's not snowy or anything yet, but it's cold and I'm not a fan. So this just makes me happy to work on things that make me think of warm weather and sunny, you know, that kind of stuff. But this is probably what I'll work on next time we're together. We'll see. I tend to kind of bounce around quite a bit, as you can probably tell. Um, so who knows what, what we'll get. <laughs> It'll be a fun little adventure, okay? So anyways, thanks for watching today. And I'll see you next time. Leave me a comment and say hi. Have a good day, everyone.